Here is your weather update as of 313.13, 043 UTC time. As you can see, let's move the cursor over here. This right here is, a, is flood warnings, flood advisories, flood watch. That's the dark green. This is a warning. Also up in here, the Northwest Washington, we have flood watches. Heads up. The purple, which is uh, Northern Michigan. Right here, the purple is um, Storm Watch, Storm Advisories. The gold is high winds. Let's see what that is. West Virginia high winds. High winds. In central Montana Great Falls. See all this? And again, this is flooding. Heads up. Advisories. Advisories. Where's this? Central Alabama. See the snow melted. Advisories, flooding. Green is for uh, flooding. Pennsylvania. Alrighty then. Storm watching. No, uh, advisories. Uh, Northern, let's see, Carolinas. Is that what that said? Let's go away from it. And central, Northern and Central Georgia. Sorry about that. Alrighty then. Also, what I was saying, I think I got cut off, since this is continuing, about the earthquake uh, scenario in California. Make sure you keep an eye on your pets, because usually they kind of act kind of wacky right before the dogs will start howling. I've noted it myself. Dogs will start howling. Um, cats will start, like, running around, and then they'll start slinking under things. They'll just slink under a bed or something. Heads up on that. Keep your eyes on your pets. They'll hear it before you do. They'll feel it before you do. Alrighty then. Just always be prepared for anything. Stay warm up there. Make sure you know what? If you're gonna have flooding, make sure you got a life jacket with you in the car. In case for some reason you get stuck in a flash flood or something strange. Have a life jacket with you. And if for some reason you get caught in a flash flood and you're going to have to abandon your vehicle and go down the rapids, always go feet first so that you can kick away or kick off of debris. You know, if you're going in the direction, you lay flat on your back, you float, and make sure that you kick off whatever you see coming your way. You can kick off of it, the debris. That's all I know. Alrighty then, some more helpful t uh, tips. Take care, no barbecuing inside for those with the winter storm warnings with the purple. Alright, and on with the show. I'm going to be attaching the Biru Magic's uh, last two years of Fukushima. It's only like five minutes long. He has some good information for us and his opinion, you know. Uh, it's a little bit adult uh, adult language. Just be aware of that. And uh, alrighty then, on with the show. I might put this on after the show. I'm not sure yet. Maybe I'll, I'll start it off with this. <laughs> We're coming up on that 188 day <coughs> cycle, which is scheduled for April 2nd. Heads up, California prepares for earthquakes, and here we go. Even if Oklahoma's got another report for me that was um, 
I didn't see this report until after I did the video, but I had to come back with this. Uh, residents are being urged to prepare for two weeks on their own for a massive earthquake in Los Angeles, California. And I just said earlier, I didn't know this report was out, but I had just said it to you in my last video I did to this morning that I'm concerned about California. And it's not a prophecy, but it's just the fourth corner of these... Um, Ring of Quakes fire. It's hit. It's the missing corner. Now, it's I did hit Ring Alaska. Of fire. That was close. But I'm just being honest with you. This is uh, an issue that I need. Mean, we need to, especially on the fact that there was a 4.7 earthquake that hit LA yesterday. Today, of course, is March 13, 2000. And March 12, They downgraded it. It was 5. All right, something. Now, people from Los Angeles to Tokyo have been gathering to honor the victims of the devastating earthquake and tsunami that struck Japan two years ago. Uh, KNX 1070's Claudia Pachuca reports a memorial service was held Sunday near Little Tokyo in Los Angeles, including a panel discussion on how residents in the Southland can prepare for the next major quake. Displays outside of the LAPD headquarters uh, recalls the 211 quake that left uh, 18,000, it was actually 28,000 people dead and destroyed over 300,000 homes. That they know of. Including a plague underscoring the ongoing recovery for residents in Tokyo region of Japan. Fire officials were on hand to remind the public of what a similar quake could mean for Southern California. A lot of people don't realize that we are earthquake prone and in California, but we also could get a tsunami. Los Angeles County Fire Assistant Chief David Stone said, quote, we just haven't had one in a long time. Residents were urged to prepare for a number of disastrous scenarios, including how to cope for being at least two weeks on your own. Two weeks on your own? Yeah. Can I ask you a question? You mean to tell me the Obama administration would just leave the entire city of Los Angeles in a massive disaster for two weeks on their own? Well, go ask New Jersey. Hurricane Sandy. Freak storm that came in there, that Frankenstorm. People were without power for six weeks. They fell all alone. Well... Now you know, government's not going to help you. <laughs> Growing up in Los Angeles, which I did, normally there's a major, major earthquake every 15 years. Not more than 15 years. It won't. It normally didn't go over that. They have gone so far over that now. That's why I'm out of there. And they do have tsunami signs with little men with a big wave over it. Like little men, people. And it shows a big wave. And it says, go to high ground. But unfortunately, the mountains are not close in L.A. There's not really any high ground in most of those spots that the signs are. All up and down around the marinas and everywhere else. So, of course, being, being, being a boater... The boaters, most of them know that if there is some type of bad earthquake, most of the boaters will head out to sea because the wave will not uh, crest until it gets more towards the shore. So they would head out as fast as they could, or at least you should, head out to sea. So if a giant wave is coming in, hopefully it will go under, the, under your boat. And then when it gets closer to the shore is when it starts piling up and gaining um, footage. You know, the height of it. So, just so you know that. Heads up. Have your water. Take all your empty bottles. Don't cash them in for the five cents. They're going to be worth more to you if you fill them up with water and line them up against the walls. Plastic bottles. You're better off with plastic bottles. Also, make sure you have plenty of pet food. Also, I mean, it comes down to it, you can help the pets eat the, the pet food if you had to. 
I mean, you won't starve. Also, not that it's good for you, but, you know, at least you won't starve to death. So make sure all the pets have enough, plenty of canned food and, and all that. I would take any important pictures off the wall. I did that right before the 89 quake. For some reason, the night before, before that uh, baseball game, the World Series, the night before, for some reason, I just I was staring at a gold record I had from the Beach Boys on the wall. And uh, I actually, literally, I just took it down off the wall the night before. I don't know why. So if you have anything heavy, like in 94, when I was, uh, I decided to sleep on the couch, luckily, because the TV that was up on the dresser flew off the dresser and was on my pillow. There was a 19-inch, and back then, the TVs were really heavy. Yes. So make sure that you don't have anything really breakable for right now at least until you know until the maybe middle of April is what I'm thinking just get things off the wall because you know the walls are gonna shake bend and then you don't want broken glass flying onto you from a picture that smashes down on something and, and sprays glass all over the place and it's not safe for the pets either make sure you're not sleeping under anything I was I was just from the entertainment center to the couch was about uh, a quarter of an inch literally it fell and it was just a quarter of an inch between the couch and the uh, entertainment center with everything on it on the floor so just take everything heavy and move it to the bottom shelves alrighty then Another thing is you might want to put locking cabinet things, just like if it was like for children. They got those things that lock or even Velcro. Cheap way to do is Velcro your cabinets shut. And hopefully it's not so bad it breaks, you know, breaks open the Velcro. Normally Velcro will do the job. Alrighty then. Make sure you have an extra set of food and water in your trunk of your car. Make sure if you got one of them solar chargers for your cell phone if you don't have one get one you can also pick up some of those you know those decorative uh, solar lights that you get at Walmart or somewhere and they're only like a buck and you can light up your little walkways good to keep those in a drawer you know don't pull the tab yet and don't put them out in the dirt but it's what it's what's good or or what's good about that is you can pull the tabs Put them in your windows inside of like, you know, inside of a, like if you have a plant and stick a bunch of, stick them all into the plant, into the pot, the potted plant, or just, uh, you could just do it with just those and make sure they're in the window and the tops of them are, are charging up and then at night they'll light up. So if you don't have any, any lights, you don't have to worry about batteries and all that stuff because you could take them, hold them and hold them in your hand and walk around with them. Alrighty then, that's the cheapo way, and plus you don't need batteries for them. They'll just light up. And so when the lights go out, those just automatically go on. Which is cool if they're charging in your window all day. Also, what else do you need to do? Make sure you have plenty of medication, extra medication. Like if you were going on vacation somewhere, you need... If, you're, if you are totally dependent on... Uh, like Synthroid or or your insulin or whatever. Make sure you have plenty on hand. <coughs> you might want to keep them in the bottom vegetable drawer. Not on the shelves where the little bottles can fall off and break or anything could break. You might want to keep them in a refrigerator. If, if you refrigerate them, don't keep them on the shelves where they're going to fall off in a quake where it starts shaking. You open the door and they're splattering all over the floor. That's expensive. Keep them down in the bottom, you know, drawer. The vegetable drawer. Have an empty vegetable drawer for that, that stuff. And so they're not shaking around either in there, you know. Might want to put, you know, kind of pat them in there. Also, cash on hand. ATMs will be down. ATMs will be down. Good to have a little pop-up tent also. Because back in 94, everybody ran out of the buildings too afraid to go back in. Everybody was camping out out in the street if your car is in a safe spot and not underneath anything usually cars will withstand 
you know, they have shock absorbers in them. You're pretty safe in a car as long as nothing's going to fall in the car. Look around. Start watching the cracks in the street. That's what I used to do in L.A. I used to watch the cracks in the street. Every time I notice right before there's a big quake, you know, it's like the, even though they just did road work, you start seeing the ground will have movement and you'll start noticing cracks for some reason. What else? Have a plan, have a go bag on top of everything in your car. In case your car, you can't move your car because it gets buried in the third third <laughs> level down. Like the, that Northridge, uh, like out in Northridge, I walked around, I had a friend out there in Reseda, and that's really, I think, where it actually epicentered from. Also, I talked to people in L.A. yesterday. It was a five-point something, then they get downgraded it, which I never understood. It's what, wherever the needle goes, that's what it is, man. Don't downgrade it. Because you see, if it gets over a seven, then I don't. I think there's a there's some kind of law. If it gets over a seven, now you're in a national you're you're in a state of emergency, and I don't think you pay income tax. So they try not to ever let it let it go over a seven. All right, that's what I learned back in '94. Not that it was true or not, but um, I've had you know professionals tell me that. So. I'm going to assume maybe that's why they downgrade it sometimes. It's over seven, no income tax. They don't like that. <laughs> so it's always going to be ground, downgraded. Unless it's so extreme they can't hide that fact. Also, make sure you have a handwritten list of phone numbers of people out of state that you know. All right. Don't just depend on a cell phone that's probably going to die on you. Have have a secondary list in your purse and your wallet of important phone numbers, especially people who are not anywhere in the area of a Los Angeles. This is good to do wherever you are, by the New, Ma New Madrid fault line, wherever you are. Keep secondary numbers handwritten because once you're in a panic... Oh my God! What's that phone number? I don't remember it. You know, you don't want to get like that. You get, you keep it in your wallet. Keep it on you. <coughs> keep it near you. When it, when it, once you do have the big sweeps, you know, and there's going to be a lot of aftershocks. You want to keep your shoes on. You sleep with your tennies on, hanging over the bed. I used to do that, especially after a quake. I'd sleep with my sh tennis shoes on. Something good that that you can maybe run in. And something that's not so flimsy, not like flip-flops or something like that, that if you do step on something, it goes right through the shoe and into your foot, like a nail. I've done that one. A nail right through the ten tennis shoes, because it was thin tennis shoes. Right through the tennis shoe, into the foot. And what's worse is it's when you pull it out, it's when it hurts the most. Not as bad as it goes, goes in, is it when it comes out, oh, that's even worse. So... Protect yourself, protect your pets, and always be ready for anything. I'm going to move on now. That's that's my uh, opinion. And water's number one. Water is number one. Always have an emergency bucket too, because you don't you might not want to uh, pile the toilet if the if there's no more water or the water gets shut off or something's wrong. You don't want to just. You might want to have an emergency uh, pooper, like a bucket, and pour some water in that, and then and then discard it in a in a proper place, because you might not even have a, to a toilet. Might the porcelain might break? Plastic bucket, waste basket, whatever. These are things people don't think about. Walkie talkies are good, you know what. Just do what you can do. If there's no lights, I'm telling you, those outdoor little lights are really cool. You know, lights go out, bam, they're on. At least you're walking around. Live, this is one for the record. I'm Diana, and today is March 12th, 2013. And here are your... Updates for today. 
I will be attaching some footage from the Beer Magic 2012's channel. And he's going to give you some Fukushima updates from... He's going over the, the two years real quickly, a lot faster than I did. I went on a whole hour and something uh, binge on it. So, and uh, I have the solution if you want to watch yesterday's show. You have to watch yesterday's show to see what solutions I came up with and how to create more jobs. Also, heads up, I saw off the breaking news that there is a guy in Ohio listing jobs off of Craigslist and then uh, killing him. He was like a serial killer of some kind. So if you're going on a job interview, meet in a public place. Bring people with you. <laughs> Alrighty then. Doesn't matter what it is. It could be in any newspaper or anything. Alright. But some, some guy off of Craigslist uh, listing jobs and and killing the job applicants when they came to interview with him. It's horrible. All right, always be safe. Be prepared for anything. All right, moving on. Oh, and it's 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 up to twelve hundred pigs in China that that are that were floating down the river dead. It was nine hundred the other day. Now it's twelve hundred. Alrighty then, moving on. The Extinction Protocol 2012 and Beyond. Comet Panstar to make appearance over North America. And it shows uh, March 12th, which is tonight. It's going to be by the moon. Then March 16th, it's going to be by the moon. Then it's going to be um, to the right of the moon. And then it's going to be around sunset on, on March 24th. All right. Also, algae blooms kill record number of manatees in Florida. Heads up. 4.7 magnitude quake shakes Los Angeles residents told to prepare for two weeks and told to prep for two weeks and be prepared for disasters. Heads up. Take the warning. I gave a prepper list uh, on my... Uh, earlier report that I'm attaching. All right, wake up call or omen. Three near misses in one week. Talking about the comets and the asteroids. All right. Also, pestilence watch. Bird flu outbreak reported in India. 2,800 dead pigs found floating in Chinese river. Now it's up to 2,800. What's going on? 2,800 dead pigs found floating in Chinese River. So it went up again. Heads up. Okay, moving on. Let's go now. Noah, let's get rid of Noah. Alrighty. The Watchers watching the world. New research to focus on energy distribution in upper atmosphere. Comet pan stars now visible on stereo behind imagery. Long duration C2 solar flare erupted from region 1690. Scientists create 3D view of ancient flood channels beneath Martian surface. Volcano gas flights over New Zealand's volcanoes. Volcano gas flights. The volcano gas flights over New Zealand's volcanoes. Tunga Hara erupts spewing glowing ash and pyroclastic material. Heads up, you can't outrun that. It's real hard to outrun. SDO's Earth eclipse and the lunar transit. That was yesterday. Alrighty then, moving on. Get rid of this one. E&E &E News, Fukushima, Japan. The energy news. 
U.S. sailor, higher up senior chiefs now say they're sick after Fukushima exposure. A bunch contacted us after seeing segment on national TV. Also, today, study up to 47 quadrillion becquerels of cesium-137 released into the Pacific from Fukushima, nearly 50 times original TEPCO estimate. Okay, let's say that again very slowly so everyone understand what's going on with the food chain in the Pacific Ocean. Up to 47 quadrillion becquerels of cesium-137 released into Pacific from Fukushima, nearly 50 times original TEPCO estimate. Not very green, are you, TEPCO? Not very green, TEPCO. I already told everyone how to handle this. Please watch March 11's uh, report. I still stand by it. All right, not very green. Not very. Uh, is that does that fall along the lines of uh, sustainability? Does that fall along the lines of uh, earth friendly? What's going on? What's going on? You letting them do that? Alrighty then. Don't complain about carbon and carbon taxes while everything else is being destroyed and you're not doing anything about it. Alright, yesterday, former Prime Minister, half the people in Japan were close to being evacuated after the start of Fukushima crisis. Only half. Report of Fukushima Daiichi equal or greater than Chernobyl. Some startling results. I already played that on yesterday. Watch yesterday's. Here, you know, Chernobyl, one reactor. Fukushima, four reactors that have been going for two years. You know, more than 700 days. Chernobyl, one day, maybe two. Fukushima, more than 700 days and counting. <coughs> I'm getting all choked up about that. All right. Press conference. People were trying to commit suicide aboard USS Reagan during Fukushima mission. Some tried to get off ship. It was living in fear every day. It was horrible. All righty then. And there's more. And I, I let Nabiru Magic. He he did the report for the 11th and went back a little bit. So. I'll let you watch that instead. Moving on to U.S. Canada. It's horrible. You know, you're going to sit there and someone better do something. That's all I've got to say. All right. Fire them all. That's what I said. You have to fire them all. NIRS. Victory. License denied for U.S. nuclear reactor. First time in history. NRC has upheld denial. Oh, really? What about all the other stuff that's going on? Alrighty then. Fire them all. Brockovich on sinkhole. And then we'd have a million jobs. Brand new jobs. We have pretty good indication that it's a dead area. Could be an explosion at any time. Gas pressure is extremely intense. Didn't any wonder why the governor didn't go down there? <laughs> Get out of there. You have to get out. You got people there that you know. Tell them to get out. Step away. Step away from the sinkhole. Major exposed. Abuse at U.S. nuclear plant contributed to multiple deaths. Rash of severe illness. Reactor operators having suicidal thoughts at work. All right. Please watch my yes watch yesterday's video, at least the beginning of it. Alrighty then. Just the beginning. I know it's almost two hours. Watch the beginning what I say. Governor, deadly hydrogen sulfide could be released if sinkhole number two forms. Warns of possible increased instability in and around site. Alrighty then. Heads up. Alright. Let's close that. Alright. It is two days down. It's Tuesday evening. 
three to go before the weekend. Stay tuned. I'm attaching videos. Have a wonderful, wonderful evening. Hopefully you are adjusting to our time change. I don't know. I stayed up real late. I stayed up to almost four o'clock yeah, today. Wow. <laughs> it's horrible. All right. Take care. Be safe. Be ready for anything. I told you. Be ready for anything. And I'll see you again tomorrow on the flip side. Parliament in Europe, my friend, they were under the impression that already Fukushima issue was solved. And when I talked to your leader as well, they they surprised to hear what I'm saying to what Bob Alvarez said, what Annie uh, Gunderson said. They're surprised. So I like to let you know that we are challenging two invisible matters. The one I believe in Helen said it is a fact of already as of today. Japan cannot escape from the reality that this radiation and children issue another 100 years or 200 years. So many leaders I met were shocked. Number two, this reactor issue. You cannot see the inside issue. So nobody knows. That's why people try to pay attention to policy issue. They forgot it's a potential accident remain now. You are talking policy matter 30 years, 40 years, you have a time. But Fukushima doesn't have a time. That's why I told to all party leaders and I said one of the cabinet, my answer is to solve this issue or to improve this issue is maybe we might depend on military who are sure they sacrifice as Chernobyl did it. And many military workers died, which keep quiet and silence. But that is a reality. So these are issues I want to let you know. All right, the, uh, this may be the last uh, question. It goes to you and also to Hisako uh, Sakiyama. Uh, are there any legal proceedings or criminal negligence planned in Japan for Dr. Yamashita, for Adano, for Hagano, for Tepco executives to arrest these traitors who are deceiving the public. Now, before you answer that, <laughs> uh, if we apply those criteria, <laughs> with the entire Congress and the President. あの、with regard to Dr. Yamashita and the people around him, um, they were not exact cause of the accident, but what they did was they misinformed public saying that the uh, low radiation level is not direct health threat. それで、あの、事故を起こした責任者に対してはな、ないです。No, there are a lot of uh, legal accusations are uh, uh, popping up all over Japan and I'm one of them too. But whether uh, the authority will accept as a criminal case or not is not uh, clear yet as of now. で、健康問題に関してはですね、あの、
、えー、福島県立医大あるいは福島県と IAEA とあのかなり協定を結んであの健康管理っていうのをこれからやられてやあの行われていくのでもしかしたらチェルノブイリと同じような結果になるのではないかと私たち市民は非常にあの心配しています。With regard to、uh, health protection among、uh, Fukushima Prefecture's medical university and the Fukushima Prefecture government and IAEA, these three、uh, entities are together、uh, planning future health protection. So I'm concerned that this may be lead to something similar to Chernobyl's case. It is the 11th of the 3rd, 2013. This is today's climate change update. Two years, two years ago today, Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant went crazy. And we all know the story, especially if you've been following this channel for any amount of time. Two years later, here are the headlines on ENE News. That's all I'm going to cover today. U.S. Navy sailor, they had to remove three layers off, off skin off my hands and arms after Fukushima exposure. He was treated almost as if I had the plague. And the story goes on where he, was, he had to go through decontamination three separate times where they put、um, very、um, coarse soap on, you know, to get the oil off, kind of soap on his skin three times, and nobody was allowed to touch him until、uh, the machine. Quit beeping. Very interesting story indeed. Arnie Gunderson. Dun, dun, dun. The containment vessel exploded at Fukushima reactor number two. Quote, There's definitely a large crack, and that is on the containment vessel in the nuclear reactor, aka core breach. Two years later. Live on the BBC, they don't know what state the Fukushima reactor cores are in. Quote unquote. Two years later, and they don't know. Watch live stream of Fukushima、um, Symposium in New York City, where the bullshit continues, I am sure. Fukushima worker, quote, even an elementary school kid knows TEPCO always lies. Quote, we have been fooled by the government. That is an understatement for sure. We've been documenting the cover up for the last two years on this channel. Um, if you've bothered to pay attention at all,、uh, the AFP disturbing relentless flow of tsunami debris to last for years on the United States West Coast. Expert, most of it's harmless, except obviously any radioactive material from Fukushima. TV Japan radiation expert says drastic measures are needed. Radioactive contamination now permanently in the ecosystem. Fukushima forests must be cut down ASAP. And if you've done any kind of research at all, the prefecture of Fukushima is a very forested area. And these huge, beautiful, ancient trees、uh, all over the countryside and on the side of the mountains and whatnot.、Um, this scientist is saying that the, the contamination is throughout the entire ecosystem, it's in the pollen. And it would just be better off to cut everything down to the surface and start over again. The reality sets in. Report Animation foreshadowed Fukushima meltdowns? Question mark. An eerie coincidence noted by many, including musicians themselves, shown in Tokyo night before 3 11. And they've got a video on that.、Uh, Japanese professor, leaders of Fukushima City refused. Refused to evacuate population of 400,000 after, after being asked by the government. Media didn't report this thinking it would cause panic, you think? Poster inside Fukushima This is not the end. This is the beginning of a new nuclear age. And I agree, couldn't agree more. 
uh, with half-lives reaching into the tens of thousands. you got to remember, it's not just cesium and iodine we're dealing with here, and plutonium, and up to, what, 1,300 other different isotopes that accumulate every every single day so these these low measures that they're talking about that is not harmful uh, here we are on year number two and counting and it's just gonna get more and more from here uh, TEPCO to wait to de decommission Fukushima plant official the radiation will be reduced so they want to wait now for the radiation to reduce to do any serious decontamination at uh, Fukushima Daiichi, and they've got a 40-year um, plan now, um, which is it's not even completely insane, the plan itself. Uh, they really don't know what the hell they're doing or, or where they're going with this. Um, it's just a big shell game at the moment. Aaron Brockovich, this is about the Louisiana sinkhole down in the Bayou Corn. Residents near giant sinkhole need to get out. Serious gas pressure, potential for explosion, homes and land are now useless. Uh, this is uh, according to uh, the, the law firm that Brockovich represents or whatnot. Um, basically, the legal advice is get the hell out of Bayou Corn. Uh, WSJ, concerned there are cracks in Fukushima reactor buildings leaking irradiated water into the Pacific. I've been reporting on this for the last few years as well. Um, the core has broken through containment. Uh, the corium, which is all the goop that's all melted and made together, has melted through the building into the ground underneath the nuclear reactors and seeping directly into the Pacific Ocean. And a lot of these stories are bases there now they got it. They can't hide the radiation um, that's seeping out of what is Fukushima, and uh, they're coming up with all these crazy stories. Associated Press, over 300 million tons of nuclear waste in Fukushima alone. Smoking mounds of disaster debris, possibly from spontaneous combustion, because you got to remember we had one that went boom. Number three and number one. Molten fuel could be outside Fukushima reactor, experts concerned. It could, it could not be cooling properly, and you got to remember, this is two years after the fact. They're coming up with these bullshit stories. Two years could be. We don't know. Give me a break. Uh, back to Louisiana. Giant sinkhole to more than double in size. It's probably going to take out Highway 70. You could look at loss of life. Uh, they have videos on that, of course, and they're talking there is a sinkhole number two. We have to have plans in place where we can move fast. So this bayou corn is expanding beyond their ability to cover up what is going on. A uh, man dies after being electrocuted at controversial new nuclear plant. Joys, joys. Fukushima workers. Smoke was pouring out of unit number one before. The tsunami hit, which to say, uh, no doubt, the quake crippled the reactors. Could torpedo Japan's attempts to restart nuclear plants? Nuclear power is a crime against humanity. Shut every single one of those plants down. Dock every ship with one of those nuclear reactors on it and decommission them. Let's take care of this mess now and not save it for the great, great, great grandkids uh, to be uh, mutated slime balls about it. Um, just insanity. The insanity what you are doing to the human human race in, in particular altogether. Uh, video 200,000 protest nuclear power in Tokyo. Too little too late. And finally Gunderson, I repeat, significant new material will be presented at Fukushima Symposium. Live stream starts at 9 a.m. Eastern and uh, they have quotes or uh, links to that as well. Again, two years after the fact what do you do? Here we are, still going through the bullshit. Uh, heads up, and uh, enjoy your tuna fish. Enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks. Your written law, California law, United States federal law, NRC to enforce. By law, have to have somewhere to put the cement fuel rods. 
They promised us they would have the spent fuel rods taken care of by 1976, then by 1982, then by 1985, then 1991. It's 2013, you still store them on site. Nuclear Industry, TEPCO, NRC, do or do not, there is no try.